We're at the last part of lesson 12.3. We're at 12.3D and I'm going to be introducing radians to you and we're going to convert degrees and radians. So if you've missed 12.3A, B, or C, they're linked in the description along with the geometry playlist so you don't get confused. One unit of measurement for angles is degrees, which are based on a fraction of a circle. So here we have one degree, and it's one three hundred sixtieth of a circle. Another unit is called a radian, which is based on the relationship of the radius and arc length of a central angle in a circle. So here we have one radian in the purple area. It's 60 degrees, and it's equivalent to one-sixth of a circle, approximately one-sixth of a circle. And as we learned in video 12.3c, the one right before this one, arc length is the distance along an arc measured in linear units, you know, centimeters, feet, inches. In a circle with radius r, the length of an arc with a central angle measure m is the length of the arc l is equal to 2 times pi times the radius times the quotient of that measure degrees and 360 degrees. One radian is defined as the measure of a central angle whose arc length is the same as the radius of the circle. So for this central angle of 60 degrees, its radius is equal to the length of its arc. That's one radian. So take a look at this. We have four concentric circles, one, two, three, four, with the measure of each arc as 60 degrees, because that's the central angle. Each circle's radius is equal to the arc length of its 60 degree arc. So this is what that means. I've got some pipe cleaners that I've cut, and this pipe cleaner is cut the length of this circle's radius, and this pipe cleaner is exactly the same length. And if we bend this a little bit to be an arc, you can see it fits perfectly right here. See? It's the same length. And if we take this one, it's the same length as this radius. See? And this green one, if it's straight, is the same length as the radius. Let's see if I can lay these here. See? If I can line them up. They're the same length, and if we curve it, it's the length of the arc. See? See that? And if we took six of these arcs and laid them around this circle, it would be the circumference of the circle. See that? So we have this table and we have this diagram, and looking at the diagram first, we can see the central angle is 60 degrees. For radius 1, our arc length will be 2 times pi times 1 times the quotient of 60 degrees and 360 degrees. We're going to get pi divided by 3. We get 120 pi divided by 360, which comes out to pi divided by 3. For radius 2, we can multiply it by 2 and our arc length will be 2 pi divided by 3. For radius 3, we multiply it by 3, and we're going to get just pi. This 3 over the 3 cancels out as a 1, doesn't it? For radius 4, we multiply it by 4, and we get 4 pi divided by 3. Now, if you're really confused, just stick with me. Hopefully, we'll clear all this up. The relationship between the radius and the arc length is linear with a slope of 2 pi times the quotient of 60 degrees and 360 degrees. It would be pi divided by 3, or about 1.05. The slope represents the ratio of the arc length to the radius. 
And this ratio is the radian measure of the angle. So 60 degrees is the same as pi divided by 3 radians. So that would be 1 radian. And see this symbol? That's a theta. We've got our radius is the same as our arc length. See that? They're both r. So this symbol is the Greek symbol for theta. And we'll use this symbol to represent the name of the angle. So this is 1 radian. This is 60, a 60 degree angle. And we read that symbol as theta. And if there's a little degree measure next to the theta symbol, it means the measure of angle theta in degrees. And if there's a capital R here, it means the measure of angle theta in radians. And the radian is more exact because the radius, circumference, or area is involved. And radians are the natural measure for dividing up circles. If a central angle theta in a circle of radius r intercepts an arc of length r, see they're the same, the measure of theta is defined as 1 radian. And since the circumference of a circle of radius r is 2 pi r, an angle representing one complete rotation measures 2 pi radian, or 360 degrees. 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees, and pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. And 1 degree is equal to the quotient of pi radians and 180 degrees, and 1 radian is equal to the quotient of 180 degrees and pi radians. See how they swapped places? We can use this information to convert between radians and degrees. And each circle has about 6.28 radians. It's not exact. And one degree is approximately 1 60th of a radian, and one radian is approximately 60 degrees. So for converting angle measures and for your notes, if we want to go from degrees to radians, we multiply the number of degrees by pi radians over 180 degrees. If we want to convert radians to degrees, we multiply the number of radians by the quotient of 180 degrees over pi radians and pi radians. So let's try using these to see if we can do some conversions. We can convert each measure from degrees to radians. Here we have 30 degrees. We multiply the 30 degrees by the quotient of pi radians and 180 degrees. We can reduce with the 30, that becomes a 1, that becomes a 6, and we're left with pi over 6 radians. For 75 degrees, we multiply it by the quotient of pi radians and 180 degrees. We can reduce with 15, we get 5, and we get a 12 here. We're left with 5 pi over 12 radians. And we can convert each measure from radians to degrees. So here we have pi divided by 4 radians. We multiply it by the quotient of 180 degrees and pi radians, and we can reduce with 4. That becomes a 1, that becomes a 45. This cancels out this pi. This radians cancels out that radians, and we're left with 45 over 1, or 45 degrees. For 2 pi divided by 9 radians, we've got, we multiply it to our 180 degrees over pi radians. This pi cancels out this pi, this radians cancels out that radians. We can reduce with 9, so we have 1, and we have a 20 up here. We end up with 2 over 1 times 20 which is 40 degrees. So 2 pi divided by 9 radians is 40 degrees. Converting degrees to radians or radians to degrees will be taught again in trigonometry and probably in precalculus. We can write a proportion like this. This means the measure of angle theta in degrees divided by 180 is equal to the measure of angle theta in radians divided by pi. 
we could use this to do our conversions. So we can use this proportion to change 30 degrees to radians. We put our 30 degrees up here over the 180. We set it equal to theta in radians over pi. We multiply both sides by pi, and these cancel out, don't they? And we get pi over 6 is equal to theta radians. So 30 degrees is equivalent to pi over 6 radians. We can use the same basic proportion to convert radians to degrees. We can change pi over 4 radians to degrees. So here's our theta in degrees over 180 is equal to pi over 4 over pi. And we simplify this complex fraction on the right by multiplying the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator, and we get theta degrees over 180 is equal to 1 fourth. Now we multiply each side by 180 degrees, and we get theta degrees is equal to 180 divided by 4, which is 45 degrees. So pi over 4 radians is equal to 45 degrees. Now, if this trig precalculus way is a little too difficult for you to do, that's okay. You can use the other way that we showed. It's the same thing, but if this makes more sense in your head and multiplying the degrees to this or multiplying the radians to this, if that makes more sense to you, then go ahead and do it that way. We're just using a theta symbol in the other way. No big deal. Our next video is going to be Lesson 12.4, and that's broken up into several parts. And the first part is about inscribed angle, intercepted arc, and subtens. That's 12.4a. So I know this can all be confusing, but, and it's only high school geometry, and we've ended up using some trigonometry, but we've also gone back a little bit and used some algebra in our geometry, haven't we? So I hope you understand radians now, and I hope you understand converting between degrees and radians. And I'll see you for our next lesson, and have a great day. Bye.